Hey guys, and welcome back to the very last day in my five days of faves, where I round up the best things from last year in different categories. Before we get into today's video, I do just want to clear up some questions I had on my previous videos this week. There's been a few people who have brought up like specific items I've mentioned in the past and asked why they weren't in that favorites video because they expected them to be. If you know that they were my favorite because of a previous video, you know they were a favorite already. There's no reasoning behind it, they just didn't make it into the video, maybe because the video was just too long already, or I forgot about that specific item. So yeah, there's no reasoning behind it. If I put all of the products I've mentioned in the last year that I liked in my favorites week, it probably would have ended up being like a favorites month, so there's no reasoning. I didn't suddenly decide I didn't like them, they just weren't in the video. So for today's video I'm going to be covering my wildcard favourites. So this is basically just anything that didn't really fit into the other categories. Um, so yeah, let's jump in. And what I'm drinking is actually one of the favourites. So I'm drinking the Pukka Supreme Matcha Green Tea. But I did just want to mention Pukka as a brand. Great tea brand. They do lots of great things for the communities that they work in. So I will link them below if you're interested in some tea bags. The next thing I want to mention, and a very obvious one, is my Snap White Teeth Whitening Kit. Teeth whitening is probably one of the top five things I get asked about, and it's always Snap White. Prior to using Snap White, I used Beaming White, which was the same brand. So I've been using them for a few years now. Great results. I've even asked my dentist when I've had checkups, like, is the whitening okay? Like, you know, there's no damage or anything. And every time he said that there's no issues. So I even asked him if he could get my teeth whiter than this and he said no so it's done me very well and I love hearing from you guys when you've got this too because everyone's usually like wow my teeth are whiter already so it's just a home whitening kit you get everything in here to give you like a customized whitening so you get the trays to fit you I do have a full video on how I use mine so I will link that below so you can hear a bit more about it but if you want cruelty free vegan teeth whitening that really works this is the one the next thing I want to mention is my passion planner. So I did get into like the whole planner thing, like I found it like strangely addictive and I was like obsessed with all of the planner hashtags. But I first of all got an Erin Condren, which I do really like, I think that is a great option. But I kind of got it because I wanted to do all the stickers and pretty stuff and then I realised that that just wasn't an efficient way for me to plan real life things. Like it looked pretty but it wasn't really that useful for me. So I decided to go ahead and get myself a passion planner which is much more kind of like just utility not any of the frilly stuff. I did get it a couple months into the year so I can show you some of the blank pages. So you have Sunday through Saturday, you have your focus for the week, you have a little area to put down good things that happened once you get to the end of the week, you have a personal to-do list and a work to-do list and then a little area here and I just think it's a very well thought out style of planner. So this was my one from last year and then for this year I actually went for the bigger option. So as you can see, there's quite some size difference. It's probably about twice the size. The reason I got the bigger one is just because I'm more of a kind of visual spaced out person. That's the reason I got the giant iPhone. Also because it usually lives on my desk. So the fact that I can have this nice and big and open and I can see exactly what I need to be doing. The week layout is exactly the same. You also have like the monthly layout and I just think it's an awesome style of planner. Definitely what works best for me. So yeah, I would say if you are looking at them and you can't decide between the two, if you are going to be kind of like throwing it in your bag or whatever, maybe go for the smaller one. Or if your writing is smaller, go for this one. But if you are someone who needs things to be like nice and laid out and clear and have lots of space, I would say go for the bigger one, especially if it's just going to basically live on your desk, but you might travel with it occasionally. Definitely glad I tried this one out, although it might not be like as pretty and there's not as many stickers made for it. I do think they're an awesome planner. And I do still use some stickers. I pretty much only use them from one Etsy store. The store is honey inked, so they're just clear stickers with just very simple designs, which I really like. And I just keep my stickers in the back pocket in the planner. That's been my favorite planner for the past year and also the one that I'm taking into this year too. Oh, and I think that they are pretty reasonably priced as well, so that's always a bonus. The next thing I want to mention, which I cannot fit in the screen, so I'll put some cutaways in, is my Raiden luggage. So this is the luggage that you can pair to your phone to track it, you can weigh it itself. It also has a built-in charger that you can use on your phone, which I found to be 
really, really helpful. So I have the carry-on size and then I have the bigger size and I just think they are incredibly made bags. I've only travelled so far with the smaller size but I was super impressed with it and I would imagine that the bigger one is going to be about the same. But if you do want a really kind of efficient gadgety carry-on that's very light when it's empty, looks really nice and is just a great option, I would really recommend checking out Raiden Luggage. The next one I want to mention are my wireless headphones. So these are from the brand LSTN or Listen Sound Co. So the headphones themselves look like this. I usually put them like behind my neck and then the ends of them are magnetic too. So if you are kind of getting on and off a plane or something or working out and you've just taken them out, they just snap together and they're kind of safe around your neck. They're not going to go anywhere. I think that I've got weird ears because the Apple headphones never fit in my ears. Most headphones don't fit in my ears, but these ones are really nice. So I think I have the smallest earbud piece and then the biggest wing piece that just kind of hooks itself on into there like that. The sound is really good. You can do all of your controlling from here and this is also where you charge them on this little mini USB hole here. Is that what it's called? Mini USB? Micro? I don't know. So when I travelled I would plug this into my Raiden luggage and quickly charge them that way. It was really convenient. And the pouch that it comes in, I think they actually have it on there as like a vegan leather. So awesome headphones and they do really great things for people in need of hearing aids too. So it's like a charitable business, which I think is awesome. Any little thing you can do like that to help I think is great. So yeah, really awesome option and it was my friend Haley that told me about these. So if you're watching, thank you. Another thing I want to mention is my Diva Cup. I have done a couple of videos on it now, so I will link them below, but it's a menstrual cup, a little silicone cup you put up inside of you when you're on your period, catches the blood, you empty that out, rinse it, put it back in, you're good for another 12 hours. It's really kind of changed my relationship that I have with my period. Like before, I felt like it was so much more of a bummer. And then now it's like, I kind of forget I'm on my period a lot. I'm convinced that the like usual period pains and stuff like that are not as bad either. And I kind of think it's because you're not thinking about it as much, you know, like I just feel much more free when I use the Diva Cup. So I know a lot of people I've known have also made the switch around the same time and just been like, holy crap, this thing is amazing. So if you do feel up to trying it out, I do think it's a great option. But if for some reason it's just not for you or maybe you can't use it, a tampon brand that I did want to mention is Cora Tampons. Now this is the little travel case, again, vegan leather. The tampon packaging just looks like this, super sleek, and they arrive to your door in just a simple black box. So you don't have like the weird floral tampon box designs that are just hideous you know so really great tampon option and again they are a charitable brand so they help to bring menstrual supplies to places that don't have access to it so the girls can still go to school but even better than that they set it up so that they are kind of produced in their area so it's kind of helping the economy as well it's not just like shipping stuff in so another great brand and definitely a good option if you really don't feel up to trying the diva cup just yet my next one is Dr. Bronner's Bar Soap. Obviously this is great as a soap in general, but I specifically want to mention it as a uh, brush cleaner. So this is how I clean my makeup brushes. I've been doing it for a really long time now. I just get a little soap case to keep it in, get the brush wet, swirl it on top, and then kind of like rinse it out on my hand. They get so clean, really nicely conditioned afterwards. And I also think that they dry really quickly after I've used this too. And all pretty natural ingredients, so really great brush cleaner. Next up we have the Essence of Valley Sleep Oil, a bedtime ritual. A hundred nights of sleep, a drop is all it takes. I don't know why I kept the box, I never keep the box, but it's just a little um, essential oil blend to help you sleep. Oh my god, it's so good. I'm probably going to fall asleep. No. I put a drop of this like on the back of my neck sometimes or I'll put a drop on my pillow and I just think it's been really nice to then associate that scent with sleep. So whether this makes me sleep or I just have that nice association with the smell now works really well for me. I think it adds like a nice little ritual to the nighttime routine. Love it. Definitely would recommend if you are someone who likes to have like nice scents and things when you go to sleep. The oils in it are lavender, cedarwood, marjoram, ylang ylang. So yeah, really great kind of sleep oil. Love the smell. Next I want to mention a amazing candle. It's really expensive. You don't have to tell me. I buy it like once in a blue moon and I burn it for about an hour and then I blow it out and a whole floor of the house will smell really good and kind of like the next floor too. So it's the Diptyque Faux de Bois which I think means like wood fire or like bonfire. So it definitely does smell just like a really handsome fire. Do you know what I mean? 
That's the only way I can think of to describe it. A handsome wood fire. Mm. So again, definitely one that you're probably not going to be buying all the time because it is really expensive. But if you do want a treat or maybe like something really nice to put on your wish list, this candle, goddamn. The next thing I want to mention is actually the thing that I've planned this video out in. So it's my appointed notebook. So they're made in America, I'm pretty sure in Washington, and it's just really gorgeous stationery pieces. Really gorgeous, very simple. I think they have some different um, styles and I just really love the notebook. The inside pages are lined and then on the back they are plain. There's a little space for the date and they're perforated along the side too so you can rip them out and they still look pretty. Had to mention my Mophie charger for my phone. I think it's amazing. I love the design of it because it's all very compact. You have the little button on the side that tells you how charged it is. And then the top panel opens. You've got your lightning charger here and then the USB charger to charge the battery pack itself. If you ever want to charge and charge at the same time, does that make any sense? You can charge into your computer or outlet and into your phone and it will charge your phone first and then go back to charging the charger itself. So I just think it's a really awesome compact design. You can get an even thinner one, which Adam has, I think it's maybe about two thirds as thick as this, but his doesn't have as many charges on it. So really great option and I just love how simple and sleek it is. A kind of generalized wildcard fave I wanted to mention was getting photo albums printed. So my sister does these every year. She makes a little book about my nephew. So each year um, all of her close family members get a copy and it's just really cute to like look back and see how things have changed throughout that year. And then I decided to do one for Adam when Balthazar died and I kind of put it off for a little bit because I was like this is going to be really painful to like look through pictures but it was a really kind of like healing experience for me. I know that's not going to be for everyone and that probably sounds like really airy fairy but I got Adam a big book of Balthazar printed. So I just looked through and kind of arranged them in order throughout the years and gave that to him. So I just kept it really simple. This is the front and then this is the back and I did it on Shutterfly but I just really think that kind of printing stuff out now is really nice because I think you're more likely to like look at a physical book than you are to go through and look through your phone or maybe like you have stuff on this computer and stuff on this phone and this person's phone and this camera. I think really like taking the time to compile it into a nice book is a really nice idea so whether it's like for a dead pet or each year for like family members for your kid pictures of your kid I mean I just think it's a really nice idea so I just wanted to put that in here at that um, printed like photo books or albums that's my fave and then the next two things are food so I'm gonna have to show you a cutaway the first thing is the uh, rice cake pizza which I make when I'm hungry and lazy. So you take a rice cake, you put a slice of follow your heart gouda on it, you microwave it for like 20 seconds and then you put sriracha on top, rice cake, pizza, yum. And then the last thing I want to mention are the Guardian fake chicken sliders. Wow, that's just been a life-changing snack honestly. I'm just obsessed with them so yeah. So that is it for this video and rounds up my five days of favorites. Hopefully you guys will join me next week for my regular schedule of Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And I'm also going to be trying to bring back blog posts on Tuesday and Thursday too, which will be my part of my face mask chronicles as well. I'm trying to do one every week. Like I said, everything will be linked and listed below. Leave any questions you have in the comments. Do I have a question for today's video? How about just tell me something that you would like to share with the world or me? I don't know, you know? Give me, give me some info below. So yeah, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next week in the next video. Bye. Oh, and I always have all of my social media below too. So if you want to find me anywhere else or maybe get weird with me on Snapchat, it's all down there.